Jumbo School uh, talks about how uh, uh, he usually sings the, the new song, does the new sessions before going to bed. And on this particular night, uh, he did the, the, the new song and then went to bed. And then he had uh, a dream. He had an inner, uh, real sad experience accompanied by, uh, by somebody uh, whom he could not recognize. Mm. And then uh, uh, they seemed to have visited uh, places. Uh, <clears throat> now, the first went, uh, they visited a place where he, he met his, uh, his friends uh, from, from, from infancy. So, and he realized that uh, where they were, they, they were not very, they were not doing well, and uh, um, they looked, uh, you know, in, in a miserable state some, somewhat. And then they saw him, he, he looked very, very okay and happy, so they asked him his secret, and he said he was, uh, because he was doing the, he was doing the new song. And then... Uh, uh, from there, they moved on to uh, another, another, another scene uh, where he went. Uh, uh, he seemed to. They visited uh, 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 family members. They even saw his uh, deceased, uh, his translated mother, and uh, other family members. You know, and then from there they. Uh, he, the, his guide proceeded uh, to where there was a, a body of water and uh, uh, asked him to, to whether he could see anything in the, in, in the water. He said he could not make out anything. So he pointed uh, at a, at a, uh, in, into the water asked him to look into the middle of the water and then a, a, a brilliant light uh, appeared and um, uh, some resplendent say, uh, scenes uh, and he was so, so marveled. And then they moved on to another uh, um, <clears throat> more magnificent scene and uh, his guide could could uh, conjure these scenes, you know, for him to 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 see. And uh, this uh, second abode was more elevated and more beautiful, uh, sparkling with uh, lights, houses, and everything. So he was wondering what he would do uh, to enter into that into that very beautiful. And the glittering, glittering world. And uh, so he, he finally discovered that, uh, uh, as he says, he came to the conclusion that it is the, uh, the real guides, you know, uh, the, uh, a real guide was making him, uh, taking him through uh, the various uh, le some levels of life. Uh, because this second scene was much higher. The first one was on the astral plane. He could make it out, you see. So it was showing him life on, the, on various uh, uh, levels. So that, that is his conclusion. I don't know whether I omitted anything. Maybe Josiane can, can help there. Josiane? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, um, in the second part, he says like he was like in the paradise. Is that what he said? Uh -huh. Like it was beautiful, yeah. like the parallel, like people call it here. Yeah. So in the third part, it was like you know, another like different, like beautiful city and yeah, all lights everywhere. And then he asked to the guy, how come he can like everything appear here, like in the middle of the sea? So he said, the the guy, they told him that. Is hidden from like because we're talking about the reptilian or all these bad people like is really hidden from them only the real people can see all those uh, good places yeah not one he wants 
that what the guy was told telling him yes yeah yeah okay. that's it okay so then i don't know whether you can throw some light on this uh, dream this uh, this uh, real side experience yeah, what is basically taking place is you see the procession of uh, this individual's life and he starts off with those relationships that he knew and he goes, moves on through. And yes, he uh, recognized uh, the astral worlds, which is the watery part, which is creation, and then into eventually uh, uh, an aspect of the real universes. And so what this is, what what is being shown here it's not about places and things so much but it's about comparison in other words we've come through creation we've come through these relationships and so uh, again all the guide can do is show the individual once he's earned his way the difference between all these and the person then decides uh, it's really comparison is what it is and so eventually the person recognizes uh, his relationship with the true reality the all is so yes these this is the first part many parts and we go through a lot of experience until uh, we can stand a hundred percent real with the true reality life is because that makes sense but in the meantime we're going through this process and uh, for me, the easiest way to see it is through comparisons. It's not about likes and dislikes. It's not like, oh, okay, uh, I don't like that or I like this or whatever. It's really comparisons to eventually recognize uh, the true reality life is. And it's not really necessarily, as he's going through this process, these are like places also that have taken place in his life. In other words, he was here, there, whatever. It's not about places either. It's about recognition. So again, he's just simply going through his process. He's shown certain things. Uh, many people have, uh, uh, they have experiences in the real universes. They really do. They see these places, they talk about them, but they still don't really see what's taking place. That becomes it because again, uh, when the individual does truly recognize and stands real there, well, that becomes their reality, their being. That's their intent. And this is what's very, very important uh, as opposed to just going to a place and having an experience. But again, the way I see it is, is that uh, the guide is showing him and, and seeing if he'll wake up to see and compare the differences. So that's one way to look at it. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, and then, okay, thank you. I would like to share, my, I had a, a, a funny uh, real side experience where uh, was I faced with a, uh, a monster. In fact, it was really scary. I would destroy it. I think I have destroyed it completely with all my might, kill it, desecrate it, and it will reappear. I would, and then I would kill again. I do everything to to eliminate it, and it will only appear again. I fuck. <laughs> what made me to get up, get up from from uh, from sleep was because of this, of the inab uh, inability or the the unwillingness of this creature to die, or killing it, and others to 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 to. Uh, try to cut it and destroy it, but it will only appear. So I was startled and I, I got, <laughs> I got out of, I got up. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of dream this is doing. What entity was this that? Mm -hmm. Yes, that I, I destroyed several times. It will only come back. Yeah, I have the same dream too. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. have. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. Yes, yeah, it's happened to me too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, Dwayne, can you can you help with some? What is this? Is this on reptilian god or what? 
strange creature. Uh, the idea here is is that uh, uh, we're all going through a process to recognize the is. That's the real focus. Whether people understand that or believe it or whatever, uh, no, we're all going through a process to recognize the whole of life. And realistically, just like what you see in the world, now I'm going to go round about here, so please listen. And that is, is that look at the world and what it agrees to mainly. The world here mainly agrees to deception, doesn't it? It really readily agrees to deception. And we all have those aspects within us simply because of where we're at. It's, uh, it's hard not to agree to any deception here. And so the reason that you can't kill it, okay, uh, that's like striking the air simply because by the very fact that you decide to destroy it, you might say, you're giving it energy, you see? You know, just like out there when people are demonstrating in the streets. And it would seem so uh, in some people's minds that what they're doing is having an effect on the government or the controllers or the bankers or whatever, but it's not. They're welcoming uh, the protests. They're welcoming the demonstration. They're welcoming the destruction because it feeds them, you see? You're feeding this idea. It doesn't matter who it is. Uh, I would say that uh, what you're experiencing is it's a test for you. You might say, we'll just say it that way, okay? And that is to see how you react. And really, the best way to react is like the sun, being indifferent. You see, we're not here to destroy anything. You know, what is being presented here, and this is the misconception that is given, is uh, people decide for themselves, not as given, but it, it is decided that uh, we're attacking, we're criticizing, we're doing these things. No, we're not doing any of that. We're simply creating a comparison and a reference for people is what we're really doing. I'm not here to eliminate anything. I'm not here to get rid of uh, uh, the chemtrails and the Wi-Fi and all that. No, it's uh, this is free will in action. But to present something that makes sense, and then each individual decides if that's what they want in their life. Or, But if they want the Wi-Fi and whatever, just like in this individual's experience you just explained, he saw his friends not doing very well, who he had grown up with, etc., whatever the experience is. And they have made choices, and they have the right to choose. This is just how it is. They have free will. This is how life is. And so, uh, with all this taking place, uh, yeah, the monster, I would say that uh, that was uh, to see your own reaction accordingly, you see. So, again... That's within yourself trying to destroy it. And look at the sun. Does the sun try, no matter what happens on the earth, is the sun trying to destroy anything? No, it's not. And so again, you decide what the experience is. We're not here to destroy anything. We don't carry swords, uh, etc. Uh, it's it's a it's a true reality to uh, you know bring something creatively into this realm that makes sense and it itself becomes the demonstration that's the difference but we have been taught to uh react to the opposing forces which is understandable sure if someone comes into your house and tries to rob your house or hurt your friend sure you react that's that's you defend yourself of course that makes sense you know whatever makes sense but uh, interestingly enough, when you give up the, that idea, especially on the real side, you'll see that these individuals or whoever they are, they really have no power. And yes, you can be affected by them. I have been. I've been attacked by the Callum God. But you know, every time he attacks me, you've got to pay for it a whole lot more. That means that everything he's done, I get a whole lot more from it to create and provide a benefit for everyone so hey bring on the attacks i'm fine with it because he's got to pay for it too and so this is how it works and so again it's about awareness isn't it yeah that's the difference between us and them so again 
each person decides and this is where how many people really will see the is as it really is and demonstrate that and stand real with it again most of the time their personal life is more important and they'll uh you know they'll get involved with protests and uh, agendas and things like this that sound good but they really lead nowhere so overall like the sun shining when you can become like the sun shining guess what nothing can touch you and so all you can do is share this with others so nothing can touch them this is the universal community that is being created this is what i'm implying with everything that i do but people are still looking at it and want their own way with their own life just like in the experience where you know people decide things and uh, yes we refer to food water and air but these are aspects in the physical we do these things but they're personal things there's a bigger picture there who will see it so again uh, you decide Charles but that's how I see it I would say the boys set that up for you to see how you would react and you decide how you re uh, will react is that how you want to do it do you want to keep battling this stuff or do you want to see a bigger picture and again, uh, you know, it's it is a challenge here. It is. It's, you know, we all have to deal with life. It's an unbelievable challenge. And there's the wild side of life, and that's what we're experiencing here, until we see through it and stand real with what is real. So yes, there you go. Thank you for asking. That's a very good experience. Thank you. Edwin, how what can one do to have that? Uh, you've given some uh, some hints there. Uh, the real guides are test, uh, testing me to see wh whether I would continue to 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 engage in battle with these uh, dark forces or anything that. But how do I hold myself together? Because uh, this is not the first time. Uh, when I was with the cooperation, I remember I remember I fought with with a monster. A very hideous monster had to burst the ice and, and defeat it completely before before uh, progressing because it was about to to bar my uh, my way. So, how what can I do to to be calm when I'm faced with this uh, with a uh, this kind of uh, monsters. I get it. Okay, so again, there's two sides to everything. So uh, you notice in the first experience you told me, I'm just going off of what you said. I'm not saying I'm right because yeah. I've got to interpret what you're telling me also and see and whatever. So uh, however you say it, that's what it goes off of and, and what I see with that. And so in the first experience, you're battling the monster. But it keeps reappearing again. It's very interesting. Okay, I wish Claudia was here, but she's not. Uh, we're doing the galactic side, and one of the experiences where I was with the Callum God, because we're dealing with everything here, and uh, this and that ain't working. But as soon as I stuck my hand into him, the influential head disappeared. So uh, there's different ways to approach it. And just like in the corporation, hey, I understand that with the corporation. So you're dealing with the influence heavy there because it's very real with Joni and Harry and et cetera. The real you, even though the personal you here doesn't understand all of it, but the real you can see it and it tries to convey this to the personal self. So when you're when you're in a position and you strike something like that or a monster or an enemy or something, I, I have been there too. Okay. I've been there too. Uh, one, I kicked like a football. Okay. He was right in front of me. I kicked him like a football to Rebazar and Rebazar shot him. Okay. So the thing being is, is that, uh, it's going to be different in different situations. So, uh, what I'm simply doing here is simply giving you a view. And then this is where you sorted out, uh, but I always go, and I have to deal with these things too, and I always go to, uh, you know, seeing and standing real with what makes sense, and that is just like the sun shining, that's what the isness is, and so in the meantime, yes, our personal selves, like we eat and sleep, and we have fun, and we have drama, and whatever here, uh, personally, and it shows up sometimes, but the boys will use that on the real side, as various means but 
again, this is where your awareness uh, becomes more acute, more uh, defined for yourself, for you to recognize what's going on. Uh, and so it's it's uh, it's almost endless too within creation to figure these things out because of the because life is a flow. It's just where is it really? It's everything, and it's always everything. And so we're always dealing with everything, and so it's going to come and go and do things, etc., like this or that. And uh, so again, uh, we with our mind and our senses in. Uh, in this realm here, with this body here, plus the other four bodies that we have to deal with, and then our real awareness to recognize that, well, that's a whole lot to figure out and define, plus uh, your situation where you have to work for a living and have your focus on that. So, uh, again, when I come back from these experiences from the real side, because certain things are demonstrated to me, uh, sometimes I don't always feel great. Sometimes I'm very discouraged even because, again, uh, we go through so much to figure out the smallest things which become bigger, or smaller, or whatever, and different. And just at the same time, trying to present something to the world that makes sense because that reflects upon us as an individual and collectively also. So I know that's a lot. But uh, the bottom line is you decide how you're going to approach this. And, you know, it's just like you can be like Chris was in the military and he did things according to what he thought was whatever. But then the sergeant comes up and says, no, stupid, that's not what I mean. You know, so again, it's it's we're always getting alternate views and seeing it. So I, I always take the risk. Uh, I see it from my literal side, and then I also uh, go around uh, the circle of degrees, you might say. And there's many views, trying to pull in as many views as I can and seeing it from that person's side, even seeing it from the monster's point of view. Okay, what is the monster doing there? What is his intent? What is he thinking? If I were the monster, what it's like? What is it like that I'm doing to you? You see? And so all those views add up to eventually recognizing the is. That's what we're going through all of this for. But if we don't take the time to do all that and to encompass all that, then what we do is we stay stuck in our personal view. And then, yes, the eternal battle, you know, that's all it becomes. Is that what you want it to be? So, again, you're the decider. This is very interesting. We are the decider all the time. And we're thinking that, well, that life is doing this or someone or the guides or whatever. Realistically, they're not. They're just creating the demonstration. Life in, in creation is, is the demonstrations are all around us. We decide our position with all of this. Yes. And so what is right or, or wrong? Well, we just do the best we can with what is happening right now. So we're dealing with the world, etc. So... Yeah, we're going to constantly deal with these things, and they come in different disguises. They come in, you know, beautiful women. They come in men with nice suits, etc. It all looks good. Is it? Uh, well, again, you, you decide. But I would just say that, you know, again, through your experience there, where you keep trying to kill it, and I've been there myself, too, trying to shove it away or get rid of it. But then what's interesting, it's kind of like when you're ill. When I'm ill, which is very seldom, you know what? I just give in to it. I don't try and fix myself or anything. I really don't. I just enjoy the rest and the, I get to just lay down and dream. And you know what? It's fine with me. Sometimes I look forward to it. But most people fight it. What they do is they take all kinds of medication and this. It's like, well, I got to get to work. They push it, push it, push it, push it. And they really strain themselves. I don't do that. I just go with it, whatever it is. I just go with it. And you know what? It's, it's really a bliss all its own. Uh, there's so many ways to view things. And so, uh, again, we have the big challenge to present this in a particular way. That's why, again, I'm all over the place. So, uh, yeah, you decide what you do with your monsters. But, hey, we're in a world that is one big monster. And so, again, we're not, I'm not fighting the system here. I'm really trying to get through to the system creatively to where it pays attention. Also, the monster that's been created here. 
the grid we're in. So, yes, thank you for uh, bringing it up, Charles. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Dean. I hope uh, next time I remember to <laughs> not to be very violent with the monsters. And I think uh, what you've said, I've got some some perception of uh, what to do. Maybe uh, from my outer activities to be indifferent to to be indifferent to, to certain things because uh, uh, to have a very strong and uh, position uh, which doesn't admit of uh, some flexibility I'm sure it, it will give right it will give rise to this kind of uh, of uh, of conflict in in on the real side. So I think I, I know what to do. 